Hi everyone and welcome to the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals AZ-900 exam question and answer. So this is the part one of this series and I will be covering about 15 questions and answer in this part. So if you are planning to sit for this Microsoft Azure Fundamental certification exam, then this series will be definitely going to help you in passing your exam and preparing for the exam. So without further ado, let's get started with the question and answer. So question number one is that your company has data centers in Los Angeles and New York. The company has a Microsoft Azure subscription. You are configuring the two data centers as geo clustered site for site resiliency. You need to recommend an Azure storage redundancy option. You have the following data storage requirements. Data must be stored on multiple nodes. Data must be stored on nodes in separate geographic locations. Data can be read from the secondary location as well as from the primary location. Which of the following Azure stored redundancy options should you recommend? The options are option A, geo redundant storage. Option B, read access geo redundant storage. Option C, zone redundant storage. And option D, locally redundant storage. And the correct option is C read access geo redundant storage so what is this read access geo redundant storage so the geo redundant storage with grs or gz or s replicates your data to another physical location in the secondary region to protect against regional outages however that data is available to be read only if customer are the Microsoft initiates a failover from the primary to the secondary region. Question number two is that you are asked with deploying Azure virtual machines for your company. You need to make use of appropriate cloud deployment solution. And the solution is you recommend use of software as a service that is SaaS solution. Does the solution meet the goal? yes or no the options are yes or no and the correct option is no and why it is because using infrastructure as a service in our case we can rent it infrastructure such as servers and virtual machines storage networks and operating system from a cloud provider on a pay as you go basis so the right choice here would have been as infrastructure as a service when you want to deploy virtual machine for your company on a cloud service provider infrastructure question number three is that you are tasked with deploying azure virtual machines for your company again we have the same scenario you need you need to make use of the appropriate cloud deployment solution solution is you recommend use the platform as a service does this solution meet the goal and the options are again yes and no and the correct option is again no as we studied in the earlier question that the right option would have be iaas or infrastructure as a service so the platform is a service basically refers to cloud computing service that supply an on-demand environment for developing, testing, delivering, and managing software applications. OS is designed to make it easier for developers to quickly create web or mobile apps without worrying about setting up or managing the underlying infrastructure of servers storage network and database needed for the deployment but here we are talking about deploying our virtual machines so again pause is also not our recommended or desired solution question number four is that you are tasked with developing with deploying again azure virtual machines for your company you need to make use of the appropriate cloud deploy, uh, deployment solution and you recommend use of infrastructure as a service iaas does this solution meet the goal 
yes finally this solution meets the goal when you want to deploy your own virtual machines and you need the underlying infrastructure such as storage network etc then you need the IAS solution because again using this you can rent the IT infrastructure servers virtual machines storage network and operating system from cloud provider on uh, on a pay as you go basis question number five is that you are planning to migrate a company to azure each of the company's numerous division will have an administrator in place to manage the azure resources used by their respective division you want to make sure that the azure deployment you employ allows for azure to be segmented for divisions while keeping administrative effort to minimum Solution is you plan to make use of several Azure Active Directories, several Azure ADs. Does this solution does the solution meet the goal? Option A again, yes and no. And the correct option is no. And why is that? It is because creating multiple Azure Active Directories for each division is not the most suitable solution for achieving segmentation of Azure resources for division while it is technically possible to have separate azure ad directories for different division this approach can lead to increased administrative complexity and additional management overhead so this solution is not the perfect or preferable solution again we have another question that your developers have created a portal web app for users in Miami branch office. The web application will be publicly accessible and used by Miami users to retrieve customer and product information. The web app is currently running an on-premise test environment. You plan to host the web app on Azure. You need to determine which Azure web tier plan to host the web app. The web tier plan must meet the following requirements. And the requirements are, the website will use the URL that is miami.valen.com. The website will be deployed to two instances. SSL support must be included. The website requires 12 GB of storage. Cost must be minimized. Which web tier should you use? The options are option A standard, B basic, C free, and option D is shared. And the correct option is the standard web tier will be the recommended web tier plan. And why is that? Because in the question, the keywords are that the storage requirement is 12 GB. The free plan give us 1 GB. Shared, again, it is equal to 1 GB. Basic plans give us 10 GB. While standard plan give us 50 GB. So this fulfills our requirement and the premium and isolated again gives more than the what we need for so the suitable option is the standard question number seven is that your company is planning to migrate all their virtual machines to azure pay as you go subscription the virtual machines are currently hosted on the hyper v host in a data center you are required to make sure that the intended Azure solution uses the correct expenditure model. Solution is you, so you should recommend the use of the elastic expenditure model. Does this solution meet the goal? And option A, yes or no. And the correct option is no. And why is that? It is because the elastic expenditure model or elasticity is not basically an expenditure model rather elasticity is one of the characteristic of the cloud computing so the elasticity is basically a feature or a characteristic of cloud computing but it is not an expenditure model in microsoft azure question number eight is again that your company is planning to migrate all their virtual machine to and Azure Pay as you go subscription. The virtual machines are currently hosted on the Hyper V host in a data center. You are required to make sure that the intended Azure solution uses the correct expenditure model. And again, you should recommend the use of the scalable expenditure model. 
again does this solution meet the goal and the options are yes or no and the correct option is again no why because again the term scalable expenditure model still is not a standard term in azure or cloud computing the term in expenditure model in azure or pay as you go and reserved instances again the question number nine is recommendation we have the same question i will directly go to the uh, solution here you should recommend the use of the operational expenditure model does the solution meet the goal and here this time the correct option is yes so finally we have arrived to the correct option so the operating expenditures are ongoing costs of doing business consuming cloud services in a pay as you go model could qualify as an operating expenditure question number 10 is that you are required to deploy an artificial intelligence solution in azure you want to make sure that you are able to build test and deploy predictive analytics for the solution and the solution is you should make use of the azure cosmo db in, in order to get this artificial intelligence solution the solution is azure cosmo db does the solution meet the goal yes or no and the correct option is no why because machine learning studio is basically the right solution it is a drag and drop tool you can use to build test and apply predictive analytic solutions azure cosmo db is a fully managed no sql database for modern app development question number 11 is that your company's active directory forest includes thousands of user accounts you have been informed that all network resources will be migrated to azure thereafter the on-premises data center will be retired you are required to employ a strategy that re reduces the effect on users remember the keywords once the planned migration has been completed solution is you plan to sync all active directory user account to azure active directory does the solution meet the goal yes or no and the correct option is yes and the explanation is by syncing the user accounts to azure active directory using tools like azure active directory connect users can continue using their existing credential to access cloud resources after the migration this provides a seamless experience for users and reduces the disruption typically associated with migrations question number 12 is that you are required to deploy an artificial intelligence solution in azure you want to make sure that you are able to build test and apply predictive analytics for the solution and the solution is you should make use of azure machine learning studio does the solution meet the goal the options are yes or no and the correct option is yes the azure machine learning studio meets the requirement of your this artificial intelligence solution machine learning studio classic is a drag and drop tool you can use to build test and apply predictive analytics solution question number 13 is that your company's infrastructure includes a number of business units that each need a large number of various azure resources for everyday operations 